Alright, it's, uh, I don't know, it's February 5th or 6th, I don't know what it is here. Uh, the sun's shining out, it's supposed to get cold, but I, <laughs> it hasn't gotten extremely cold. I'm working in the shop, uh, I've got the, I've got the little wood burner going. I ended up, uh, uh, it's Monday morning, <laughs> uh, last Wednesday, I got a call at work, my oldest daughter, uh, she got, uh, tested positive for COVID, so everybody in the house had to be quarantined for 10 days, and, uh, we're into... I don't know, uh, this is day six, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got the shop cleaned up here, and I've got mm, the table saw was out here, and there was a bucket, buck, bunch of buckets of oil stuff sitting around here, and just, it needed cleaned up. There's Alice Chalmers parts needed consolidated, and I don't know, that's a big hydraulic press back in there. That, I don't know, it needs to be turned into a shear or a punch or something, I don't know. I got it for cheap. And... Anyhow, got the wood burner going. The 88 truck's sitting here. I'm working on the Cummins motor for it. Uh, nobody in the house. The, my daughter's had symptoms, but she just had a fever and they sent her to the urgent care and they tested her and she was positive and that was it but since we were exposed we can't go to work we can't do anything so I'm getting a lot done quarantining myself in the shop uh, I think uh, last I worked on the Cummins I was working on putting the cam in well I didn't film putting the cam in but I got all the lifters in I've got, uh, I've just got that bolted on. That's an aftermarket uh, tappet cover. The original Cummins had a had a rubber gasket that went around it, and it pulled up against there, and they were a real bare because they had a tendency to leak. Uh, and the problem with them is once you get the injection pump here you can't get that off you can but it's it's a problem getting the bolts out of it's a problem uh, so I've had this I think for a year or two I think my son bought it too for me for Christmas last year but uh, this has a it has an o-ring groove with an o-ring in it around the inside and I've just got it on there to keep the dirt out and I've been covering the covering the head area up with a plastic bag and cardboard box but uh, yeah I'm just keeping the dirt out of it I put the cam in I put the rear main seal on I've been putting accessories on water pump water inlet uh, the oil cooler and the water, oil filter housing. Uh, I got these at the same time. They're core plugs. Uh, they're usually not a problem, but getting original Cummins ones, you can you can buy buy them in kits, but they're metric, and I don't recommend going to the parts store just to buy them. You got to get them from Cummins. And, these have o-rings on them and they're a dead seal uh, that hole is for the block heater which I gotta get one of them I don't have and all, all my parts I don't have a good engine block heater so uh, the oil pans on oil pickups on I don't have all the bolts in the oil pan I don't have a gasket on it because uh, like I said, I'm just keeping the dirt out of it. Um, I will do that 
once I get the head on, get the pump on it. And the pump is at the pump shop, so I'm having a P-pump gone through before I put it on. Because I, I don't trust injection pumps. I'm afraid they're going to leak into the leak into the oil and uh, dilute the oil and then a good way to wipe out a new motor so I anytime I rebuild a motor I usually rebuild a injection pump too uh, so that's where I'm at uh, I've had the machinist check this deck for flatness and it is flat I've had the machinist polish the crankshaft uh, I had the machinist go over the head, uh, clean it, grind the valves. What else did he do to it? I think, I don't, don't think he even put guides in it. I think it's all, it's, it's ready to go. I think he did surface it, but not much, only because there was some, no, I don't think he did this. He did the four-cylinder Cummins. He surfaced it because there was some pitting, not because it was warped. So, anyhow, I'm going to get ready and put the head on here. Uh, like I said, I had him check this with a straight edge, so I wasn't the one checking it. Uh, I have noticed some things here. looks like there was something banging around in these pistons so at least these back to I don't know what that piston shows some something pounded around in there but uh, those are the original pistons and I think I showed the pistons earlier so uh, yeah the problem with the head is getting it from there to there I think they say in the book it weighs 120 pounds and yeah I can pick that up but can I successfully get it onto the block without screwing up the head gasket so I think what I'm gonna do is get it out here on a bench or something and get the uh, get the hoist at least on one end or something and uh, set it down here so that's what I'm working on today. Uh, I'm really happy the way this thing's coming together. Um, I've got the bracket on there for the lower air conditioning mount. I don't know if I'm going to use that. It would be nice. This cab had air conditioning. I've got the bracket or the plumbing for it. It's all plugged up there. But I don't know if I'm going to put air conditioning in it. Keep it simple. Uh, so, anyhow, that's what I'm working on today. And I'll bring you back here when I get to get the head down. Uh, I've, got, I've got bolts here cleaned up. I was going to put studs in it, but uh, I'm not going to run any ridiculous amount of boost they want you to check these bolts in this little deal here and this is plastic and they say as long as the end of the bolt ain't touching which there's a gap there so they're good. I've gone through all these and checked them all. Uh, the long ones go through the rockers. These are other miscellaneous ones. I've got two or three sets of them here. But uh, I've checked all the bolts. Uh, I've got an industrial dampener pulley. Which uh, it seems to be in better shape. The rubber isn't squashed out of it the way the other one is. So. We've got a turbo, I don't know, that I think I'm going to send out and have it gone through too because it had oil on the intake side, so I've got lift pump, 
that's the neck for the turbo. So, anyhow, that's I'm cleaning up parts, getting ready to set that head on. So, I'll bring you back. All right, I got everything. Uh, I set the head down there on the on a block of wood. Got to lift it up there with the chain hoist, of course. <laughs> I can move it to the floor, but picking it up and setting it on that head gasket's gonna be treacherous. Uh, I think this head was machined flat. Uh, I wiped it with uh, mineral spirits in a dry rag. And after I do that, I wipe it with my clean hands because I don't trust rags, they leave lint. And this is a silicone steel, silicone gasket, so it doesn't require any kind of Permatex or silicone or anything like this. It's got, this is rubbery like, uh, like silicone, so. And these gaskets are, uh, what's the name? Huh. Same name international engines use. Max, Max Force gasket sets. Uh, I wasn't able to get Cummins parts. I ordered a Cummins gasket set and it come in a box damaged so I have to send it back uh, these are max force gaskets and uh, that's what I used on the other Cummins truck uh, I would have really liked to had Cummins head gaskets but they're made in China too so I'm almost sure these are made in China but what can I say? Uh, that head I think was decked. That is one of the school bus heads off an industrial engine because the head off the Dodge motor was cracked out beyond the valve seats. So the machinist he didn't think they was worth putting seats in it. So he didn't want to do that. So, this is head number two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wipe this thing off one more time and get it set down on there. I need to lube my bolt th threads up, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll bring you back. Uh, get this thing buttoned up here. I'm still waiting on the injection pump. So, all right, I'll bring you back. Okay, there it is. I just just tapped it down on the dowel pins, and it uh, it's seated quite well. The gasket's in the right place. And the bolt holes are lined up. Chain's loose. It's down on there. Uh, yeah, there we are. It's ready to go. So let me get some oil on the bolts and uh, we'll go from there. I really wish I'd had uh, the injection pump here. But yeah, I, I'd like to have it on there first. But anyhow. Here we go. Let's get some bolts in it. I don't know if I'm going to get it torqued completely today and get the rockers on it. So, all right, I'll bring you back. All right, I got uh, got all the head bolts in. Got them all lubricated. They're all snug. Everything's got oil on the threads, oil under the heads of the bolts. Uh, all the rockers are loose. I'm going to check a couple of them because there's a 
tight one. I had them all backed off, but holy cow. There it is. Finally. I've also been turning the crank, making sure that uh, the pistons don't hit the heads. My only thought was uh, the block's been ground or something in the past, but I don't think so. So I was concerned about the pistons hitting the heads, not having the right thickness of gasket, but I think it's a standard gasket set. And uh, I was worried about piston protrusion. So anyhow, I think everything's fine. It's, it's just snug. I haven't torqued anything yet. And uh, it turns past top dead center, so I think I'm good there. I'll check it. I've got it off top dead center, and I'll check it before I go any further. Uh, <laughs> these are the original uh, you can see that these were the original push rods that one ain't terrible but there's some of these that have a point on them. Quit focusing on the background. They're pointed. <laughs> uh, well, them were no good. And I had the set that was in the box and they were... Where's it at here? They were better. They were good. Hmm. It was one of them. Let it go here. No, I'm sure it was here. Where the heck did it go? That's a Dodge motor one. I don't know. I had one out of the bus motor here that was pitted on the end. I don't know where it got to. But anyhow, so I used a good one of the Dodge motor. Had to use one of them. And they weren't all terrible pointed, but it has new uh, cam followers in it, so I wanted to have good rod push rods in it. So, anyhow, I had them off, made sure everything was seated in the tappet covers. Uh, all my valve rockers are seated in there. It's all, the head bolts are snug. Uh, it's a long process here. I'm going to take a little break. It's going to, uh, it's a long process. i got to go check the fire. Uh, but I have to, there's a pattern for the head bolts and a torque. And... Once you get to a final torque, then you got to go 90 degrees, so I'm going to wait. I'm not going to start that right now, so everything's just snug, and uh, we're going to go from there. So, All right, I'll bring you back. All right, I, uh, yeah, it's the next day here. I uh, 
last night I took and torqued all the bolts and I think there, there's a long, it's a long strange pattern. You start in the middle and work from the center out and then uh, I think it's 66, then 89, and you go back and do these long ones here. And yeah, and you go back to sit. I, I don't know. It's it's a long. Get yourself a. Get yourself a Cummins manual. Uh, it tells you everything in here. So it's a long, drawn out process. I went through it. I I wasn't gonna film it because it's just round and round and round again with a torque wrench and then you got to turn them 90 degrees and then I went back over them and I made sure that they were all at least 120 foot pounds of torque at the torque they were you know at least that because that I, I I'm not sold on the 90 degree uh, most of the, the ones my son's put together he's put uh, head studs in but I'm not gonna go that kind of boost and hot rod and the thing I want a good dependable motor and these bolts were all the proper length so here it is uh, but anyhow this morning I've been looking around for parts accessory drives adapters uh, come to find out I got a whole bunch of fan hubs and they're all different pulleys different pulleys this is I think this is for the Dodge that's the original Dodge one there this is for the industrial motor and I don't know you know these are more industrial ones that's another Dodge one I think because it's got the threads uh, water neck adapters uh, this is a Dodge water neck adapter and it goes across the engine but that doesn't work very well for the Ford radiator so uh, I'm using that one and then it's this is the alternator mount that goes on to there uh, I'll say one thing Cummins put these engines or you know they put them in freight liners they put them in Fords they put them in uh, Dodges you can't ask for anything more more versatile uh, those are tensioner pulleys uh, fan or uh, fan belt tensioners and there's different ones I think that one's a new one but those are two different two different brackets there uh, I found this one this this lower radiator hose is uh, got the mount for the Dodge air conditioning fan or air conditioning pump goes on here this bracket will go on here and I'm not exactly sure what that's for it's got this two bolt mount and I thought it was for a lower out alternator mounts so I'm guessing that's what that is um, a couple of different manifold positions I got a 90 and a 45 uh, my other truck has one back between five and six the outlets so different options there <laughs> I I really am impressed with these motors they're simple they're uh, very well built the rods are heavy duty uh, there's my turbo that's the original Dodge turbo and everybody's gonna probably say it's gonna be too small but we're gonna make her go uh, and this this is the adapter for on here and I've got a super duty after cooler there so we're gonna put that on uh, here's some more lower mounts here lower lower radiator hoses which 
They go on in place of that one, and that one's really kind of inconvenient. And this one's the same here as that one without the uh, air conditioner pump mounts. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm amazed at the amount of brackets and fittings and parts that I have around here. So. Uh, Anyhow, that's what I'm up to today. I'm just kind of putting accessories on and cleaning parts and things like that. So, thanks for watching.